What's up YouTube? So today I'm getting around to working on the TTR 125. I actually started it yesterday and figured I should record uh, what I did today. So this is what I've got here. So this is um, the head <clears throat> of the bike. Here's the cylinder. This cylinder is shot. I don't know if you can see down in there, but it's scored up and looks like perhaps the rings pinched. You can see some material there, right there. I'm thinking that's what that is. I really don't know what happened to this because like I said, I got it in a box. So there it is. There's all these parts. Here's the bottom end. So I'm just now getting around to tearing into it because uh, I've been studying to take the PE exam which is a lot. For those of you who don't know, it's a, an engineering test that's eight hours long. Anyway, so this is how this works. So, you're going to pop off this cover. There'll be two bolts here. You just, that'll come off. There's a little gasket around here. Set that to the side, okay? In here, you're going to have a bolt here that holds this bracket in place. And in here, I already pulled them out. This is what took forever are these guides, okay? Um, to get these out, there's a specialty tool you can get. It's a slide hammer. It's like a blind uh, bearing puller. You'd, you'd uh, thread it in like you'd, you would uh, a normal one, you just kind of pull it out. What I ended up doing is I threaded this in there with a nut and a washer placed onto here and just made my own puller. So as you tighten this nut down on that washer, it's gonna pull it out. So that's how I got these out. Um, so yeah, like you said, go to the Harbor Freight or not Harbor Freight or Home Depot or Lowe's, get yourself a, a long bolt with um, some washers. And I used a deep socket too to just pull it through the socket. So once that's out, you will then be able, get that bracket out of there. Once that's out, you will then be able to get your uh, rockers out. Um, one thing that I really like about these simple motors, TTR, they're not like the race ones, is to adjust your your uh, chim thickness or your um, for your timing. The, that gap is just right here. You don't have to have these like chims to put in there like you do on like the race bikes. But anyways, <clears throat> so once that's out, these are loose. And then you can pull your, your cam out and that comes out in one piece. I've already inspected this. It looks pretty good. So I don't think I'll be replacing this one because it doesn't need it. And then you've got your uh, rockers. Um, so to get the rockers out, you can push it straight uh, push one in and then take the other one out the other side through the back. Uh, or you can get, which I've got here, this is what I'll be doing. I'll probably take you through a time lapse of it. Um, you can take these out, which frees up a bunch of room. What these are is your, your valves. Um, I need to take these out to inspect them. So that's the whole purpose of, of why I'm breaking it down. But let's see if I can fiddle this out. Um, like I said, it is kind of a pain. Just gotta get one in and down. Grab the other one.
there's one. And then let's get the other one here. And then the other one should slide out as well. There we go. <clears throat> so that's one way of doing it, taking it out that way. And the easier way will be to decompress it. So um, that's gonna be the next section. Give me a minute, I've gotta run inside and check on some things, but um, we're gonna take out these valves on each side and then we're gonna inspect them, see how they're doing. Okay guys. Yes, I left that uh, long struggle in there so you see that it is not all sunshine and roses. Anyway, so this is um, what you'll need to take your valves out is this tool. Um, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use the end piece. Um, and this goes on here like that. Then you've got another long arm on this side. And what you're going to do is it's a, kind of like a modified C-clamp. So one's going to hold this. And the other one's going to, as you tighten it, push decompress that spring. And there's these two metal collets right here that hold the valve in place. You want to grab those with a magnet such as this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because I'm lazy and I wanna put this all together, I'm gonna see if I can just, because it's a smaller bike, see if I can just push it down and get it with the magnet. Oh, okay, I think I did. I just gotta get the magnet in there. Let's see if I can grab them. Okay, got one. Oops, sorry, bumped the camera there. And let's go for it again. Oh, there's the other one. Sweet. So these are the collets right there. And they go, or keepers, I don't know what you call them. I go on either side and I'll pull the uh, valve out and you can see the little groove that they connect in. Then you've got this. This is the spring. You will have to measure it, make sure it's still within spec and all that jazz. And um, this is what those keepers or collets go down to. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of conical. And the reason why it's conical is so as the spring pushes up, it forces these conical shapes to push together. And then on this end, there's a groove and it clamps onto the groove that's on the top of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the valve. Interesting, oh, what is this? A chunk of something in here. Look at that, huh? That doesn't look good, huh? Not sure what that is. It's like kind of a gluish, almost like wood. All right, <clears throat> so then we'll just flip this over and you just push the valve right out. I don't know if you can see it coming. And it just slides on out. And then what we'll do is, see if I can focus on it. There's the, so you see that line, you'll measure this, make sure that's within spec. Make sure it's not tulipping is what they call it. Where the material is, yeah, it doesn't, feels pretty good. So yeah, we'll have to inspect that. So there's one, that's the process. I'm not gonna bore you with the rest. I'm just inspecting, sorry. Yeah, there's another chunk here. Okay, so the other side, maybe I'll just real quick, because I was kind of in the way. I bumped the camera. Okay, so again, you take this, if you're lazy and can withstand the hand pressure, because it is kind of a lot of pressure pushing down on it. Um, I guess what you could do is wear a glove when you're pushing down on it, so it's not digging into your hands. You got so I'll just put this leather glove on. Glove on. Let's see here. Better angle, perhaps. So put that there. Can you see it? Not really. Let me maybe get you down lower here. Right there. Yeah, it's the lighting. But anyways, so when you push down, I don't know if you can see that. 
see it? There you go, yeah. So when you push down, then you take, uh, thumbs in the way. Let's see here. Bring it a little closer maybe. Push down, take your magnet, go in. And that one doesn't want to come out. Okay, take your magnet. There's one right there. I don't know if I see it focusing. Hopefully you guys caught that. I'm trying to, it's kind of dark in there. There's the other one. Whew. All right. Sorry, I probably could have got you a better view if I were to actually use the tool, but I'm lazy. There's the other one. I'm just gonna separate them because I like to put them back in the same sides that maybe we came out in. All right, and then here we go. We're just gonna push that through. This one, this must be the exhaust side, yeah. Because it has all types of buildup on it. But this one doesn't look bad at all. And then after you pull these out, and then what you want to do is flip it over and check the seats. Like this. Uh, <clears throat> All right, see if it focuses. See the seats? And uh, you can see that some material right there, it's not good to have that there. That's some of that material that was in the cylinder that I showed you earlier. Um, so what I'm gonna do, and I'll maybe do a video on it, is I'm gonna pick that out, and then I've got uh, a tool to help reseat these. It cuts the the, uh, the seats, and uh, maybe we'll get rid of any imperfections there. Cause yeah, you don't want that there. So that's it. That's the video for today. Um, I've got to do some inspections, and then um, I'll do an install of everything.